this week, Alex enters the lion's den. Oh, it's the first time I've been here. <laughs> Definitely be the last. If you don't like the room, for God's sake, why do you take it? Why are you ranked the worst? It's a complete lie. Eastbourne, a Sussex seaside town famed for its clement weather and Victorian elegance. Home to the three-star Mansion Lions and its owner, Mr. Sheikh Abid Gulzar. To describe myself in three words, I would say good-hearted. I always like to help my attractive guests. Good-looking. <laughs> I find there's an attractive lady sitting here. Uh, hard-working. <laughs> I've put myself, I'm on fire. The flamboyant Sheikh has designed the 110-bedroom hotel very much in his own image. My style is rich and good-looking like myself. <laughs> You'll be surprised this is the only hotel which is very popular with blind people. We have 120 blind people come here and they love our hospitality. Together with his management team of Mr. Hawley and Mr. Singh, the Sheikh runs a team of more than 45 staff, welcoming hundreds of coach trips each year. The majority of our customers are over 50. All the two is 22. 22. Have you come with your boyfriends? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's been naughty, isn't he? And when you are 100, your stay will be free, and I'll give you £2.50 per day. He is so friendly to us. Mr. Gulzar's guests are also invited to visit his 400-acre farm, Eastbourne's answer to Michael Jackson's Neverland. We have got monkeys, giraffe, panda. When it's warm, they start moving. <laughs> Do, do I look nice? Wonderful. Mr. Gulzar might have a menagerie worthy of Citizen Kane, but there's one thing missing from his life. The Sheikh dreams of a fourth star for his beloved hotel, to put it amongst the most elite of Eastbourne establishments. I want people to respect me, not because I've got a, some sort of a nice tie or nice jacket or extremely good looks. But it seems not everyone feels the same way. I had to sleep in a room and I was freezing cold. No heating. I'm very proud to say that I'm giving my best service to them. I asked them if they had an a la carte menu and they told me, yes, and you haven't. You have the option of three items, vegetarian. That is not a la carte, that's just an option. On one online review site, the Mansion Lions is rated 41st out of 41 hotels in Eastbourne. A standing Mr. Gulzar hotly protests. We have a file full of uh, compliments people have given. The critics have taken against the service. <laughs> Here's the lost barman. We have found him. He was in one of the bins. The decor. We have some expensive decorations all round. I've never had anything stolen. And the entertainment. We have music, we have dance. There's a very cheerful, happy atmosphere. With one reviewer sending out a unique SOS. It's a cry for help the hotel inspector can't resist. Award-winning hotelier Alex Polizzi has ridden to the rescue of dozens of struggling businesses. But will reviving the online reputation of the Mansion Lions be too sizable a challenge? even for her. Gosh, well, first impressions are that it's a rather handsome building. It's enormous, which is 110 bedrooms, the biggest hotel I've ever done. Quite nerve-wracking. To try to find out why Mr. Gulzar's hotel is ranked Eastbourne's worst on the online guest review site, Alex will stay the night. Hello, Mr. Welcome, Gulzar. welcome to Thank Eastbourne. You. Can we take your bag? You can check in. 
Thank you. Now, can I get you chicken, yeah? Of course. We have ordered some sunshine for you this afternoon. If you manage that, you really are a miracle maker. Well, what I'll do is I'll go up to the room, and then, if I may, go and have a look at a few more rooms. You're welcome. And then I'll come back and report to you. Thank you. Thank you. The mansion's bedrooms start from £80 per night for bed and breakfast. For his special guest, Mr Gulzar has reserved the hotel's sovereign suite. His decorating principle has obviously been, as long as you stick with red, you're fine. This is definitely one of my favourite features, uh, with a hole cut for a non-existent fire. I think Alex would like the room where she is staying. It's one of the 28 or 30 premium rooms that we have in the hotel. Very classy. She'll enjoy it. Always my favourite, to have the light bulb sticking out of the light. For Alex, the mansion's premier room currently falls short of Mr Gulzar's four-star aspirations. Ooh! The duvet is the kind of thing that you used to have at boarding school. No pillow protector. The requirements for four-star rather than three-star. The main thing is that all decoration should tend more towards the luxurious than the basic. Now, this room is a funny mixture of luxurious, for example, this fabric, and the basic, for example, the duvet cover. You have to have an occasional table that you can serve room service on. The general maintenance throughout has to be good, so I would suggest that that, for example, is probably unacceptable. Uh, I think they've got quite a long way to go looking at this room. And the rest of the rooms also seem some way off Mr Gulzar's stellar target. Well, this isn't bad, but it isn't luxury. Mansion, Lion, it is the best. I don't see any problem in the hotel. We even have some of the uh, bathrooms with a shower and a bathtub, so the husband can lay in the bath whilst the wife is having a shower. Once again, this is a perfectly fine room. It's pretty basic. The chairs are a bit depressing. The fact that there's pictures above the lights is completely bonkers. It's very far from four star. The hotel's sun lounge also fails to shine. Oh, my goodness. This is really like an old people's home. With what, with the doilies that look as if they haven't been washed in years. And that awful picture. What, the bad angel with her pussy? This is an incredibly unappealing place to sit, and it's a real shame, because look at this view. The large reception and lounge also appear to be missing something rather important. It's rather sad here, isn't it? I mean, a hotel with 110 bedrooms and not one guest, as far as the eye can see. Um, it's about four o'clock. Should be cream tea, really, shouldn't it? Something I've also noticed is that there doesn't seem to be a huge number of staff around. All my staff are cheerful, they're friendly, and um, they're helpful. There's nobody here. I'm very nervous about their desire to turn this from a three-star to a four-star. Not only would it take quite a, a big material change, but actually, just on the service standards front, uh, you're supposed to be in, sitting down somewhere and for someone to come up and ask if there's anything you require. I don't know, I haven't been served by anyone yet. Can Alex tame the mansion lions? I'm very, very annoyed. They're guests. As a hotel, you have to stay calm. You have got to stop being so facetious. Sorry, can you say it again? <laughs> hotel inspector Alex Polizzi is at the 110-bedroom three-star Mansion Lions in Eastbourne. Ooh. It's flamboyant owner. Sheikh Abid Gulzar dreams of winning the hotel a coveted fourth star. Some attractive ladies working for the hotel. 
But despite a huge investment of both money and love, on one online review site, the Mansion Lions is rated the worst hotel in Eastbourne. After sampling the entertainment, Two's 22. 22. And a night in one of the premier rooms. The hotel inspector is keen to get to the bottom of why so many guests appear to wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Staying here is an experience of the worst kind. My worst hotel experience for years, another review. Gosh. This volume of evidence is quite hard to completely ignore or discount. Alex wants to know why, despite his lofty ambitions, Mr Gulzar has let his hotel's reputation sink so low. I've had quite an interesting morning because um, I looked at some of the reviews on the internet and, and I, some of them are awful. You must be disappointed, though, to be told that you're ranked 41 out of 41 hotels in Eastbourne here. Does it not bother you? Um, I think it's a complete false lie. Do you read the reviews? I, I have read some of them. Why are you ranked the worst? What does matter? What they write on the computer outside or what is inside? I'm more interested inside. All I'm saying to you is it's very damaging for your business. The same people who come to you and spend the same money in your hotel are going to other hotels and writing not so many bad, you know, you are ranked worse. Show me those top two or four hotels. Are they in any way better than this 40th hotel? I will, I will, I will eat my hat. There is a certain amount of, of pulling the man who's going up, pulling him down. There are certain people, they do that. When an elephant is walking, the dogs are barking. The elephant <laughs> doesn't change his step. He keeps it. walking. Let the barking dogs bark. You know, it, it can't just be a fact that everyone has it in for you, Mr. Gulzar. I'm sorry, I don't believe in that kind of... I, I didn't say that. I think it's a mistake to ignore this. No, we, because, we, we, we you know, mustn't it, ignore it. You mustn't we ignore it. Ignore, and okay. I, I, I take that on and we will look into it. The hotel inspector has heard and seen enough. Mr. Gulzar's hotel isn't so amazing, it seems to me. So their constant puffing up of how well they do everything, how happy their customers are, etc., etc., all sounds a little deluded. She decides Mr. Gulzar and his aides need a reality check, starting with the decor. You've got the most lovely frontage, and this could be such a lovely room to sit in. But it isn't. It's very old-fashioned. I mean, leather is always acceptable, even in this day and age. But I think this is less acceptable. Fine. This has been yes. the old the depository yeah. where stuff has ended up, and yes. I think we don't yeah. want that. What on earth is she doing in here? <laughs> I mean, she's absolutely awful. She really is. Come on. You must admit, this is not the hotel style. I think it must be one of the waitresses dressed up and she's taken her kitten and put her photograph <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So we do have some waitresses like this one. Do you? Yes. Yeah, I must have missed it somehow. <laughs> you don't only want to appeal to the lowest common denominator, do you know what I mean? Right. That you really want to somehow make it appealing to the people who have a little bit of spare cash, a little bit of discernment, some design pretensions. Because my aim is for you guys, we want to try and make you in the top five, yeah. at least. Forget being at the bottom of the 41. I want you to be in the top five because that is the best PR that money doesn't have to buy. Alex is suggesting she revamps the decor in the Sun Lounge if Mr. Gulzar and his team focus on tackling one of the biggest bugbears of the online critics, the service. First of all, it's stop ignoring all this stuff. I'm going to give it to you because you're the owner, although Mr. Hawley, exactly. Yeah, sure. And I think that one uses it as a tick sheet. Let's not assume that everyone who writes it is writing it because they've got it in for you. Use it as suggestions about how to improve. 
The service in general, it seems, needs a little bit of um, bulking up, so training is really key. The hotel inspector also thinks Mr Gulzar and his team are underestimating their guests. Four and eight, 48. 48. The days when bingo and crooning were enough to set pulses racing are fast disappearing. Number nine. The main thing is that I think, in a way, that you've forgotten that slightly more elderly people come from lots of different shapes and sizes and that you must move with the times and realise that we need to keep attracting people to this establishment. We want to make sure we attract a younger, older person as well as an older, older person. What we're trying to do is find out people who don't come here what they might come here for. Let's not reinvent the wheel. If we see something is working somewhere else, let's import that idea and do it better here. Last, if not least, if the Mansion Lions is to reverse its online reputation, Alex believes that Mr Gulzar should temper his four-star dreams and concentrate instead on getting the basics right. To make her point, she's arranged to visit Eastbourne's only four-star hotel, the Cavendish. Now, one of the things we have to remember about four-star requirements is that everything has to be more luxurious than basic. The lighting has to be very good. There has to be an extremely high level of maintenance everywhere. Seating quality throughout um, and furnishing quality has got to be very high. So I'm just trying to work out you know, the kind of different levels between what we have here and what we have at your hotel. Alex hopes the visit has brought home to Mr Gulzar just how far the Mansion Lions is from the four-star rating he so dearly craves. My question is, you know, is it worthwhile investing the money that one needs to invest to bring it up to a four-star? Or one should try and aim to be the top of one's tree, i.e. the top of the three-star, rather than embarking on something that is bound to be a ruinously expensive program of... Alex, um, I fully agree with you. By bringing us here and comparing, you can yourself see that we are uh, on the right path, but we do need uh, certain... Well, actually, I suppose I wanted to put that initial aim yeah. of trying no, to achieve the four stars to bed, because I want to do what's achievable with you. Always, when you're investing, you must see that there is a proper return, justifying the investment. Yes, we should uplift our three-star and maintain it. Faced with the level of investment needed to upgrade the Mansion Lions to four stars, Mr Gulzar and his team have to reluctantly lower their sights. I must say, I think that went very well. They seem fully on board with the plans that I've got. Overall, what I'm most keen to do is make sure that this is the best three-star hotel in Eastbourne, or at least the best hotel as far as the internet ranking is concerned. I've never seen Alex giving kisses, but she has given two kisses, so I think I won't wash my face for a couple of days. With Alex gone, the Mansion Lions team immediately set to work implementing her suggestions, starting with the much complained about customer service. On arrival, the receptionist welcomed us, but it did not seem like she cared. She told us to go to her room and didn't ask us if we wanted to help with our luggage. Well, that's not our standard. Everybody should be asked if they want help with their luggage. Mr Hawley tackles the hotel's reception area. Emily, why don't you go and be the customer? And let Gabriella and Martha do a nice warm welcome, just so we all know. All right. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. How can I help? Um, I think I've got a reservation for today. For today? OK. The thing about hotels is that there's quite a high staff turnover, so you constantly have to refresh training and remind people of expected standards. Uh, I think there's not enough done of that in this hotel. I want, I want that to look professional, that she's... But, but maybe you're looking up as to what we're doing. Just maybe ask, just an idea to ask how your journey was. Was it comfortable? Have you been to Eastbourne before? Whatever, just a little interaction. 
So did you have a nice journey? Mr. Singh works on improving customer experience. Mm. I think, can I just get a pot of tea, please? Pot of pot tea. Pot of tea, please. But as the day porter's new to the hotel... I have to go to the kitchen, yeah. He's unfamiliar with the layout. I don't know where the sugar is. Jack for the milk. Musa. You know where Jack for the milk? Normal time frame for anybody after ordering, if it's just a cup of tea or coffee, is between two to three minutes. What is it? No, 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 the small Jack. Yeah, yeah, that one. Because of us being a three-star hotel, it does, it, it does matter a lot, the presentation of the teacups and stuff. Everything was perfect, it's nice. But you know from time to time we offer the complimentary chocolate mints as well. Yeah. So generally when we do that, if you just bring that as well, yeah. it should be fine. Oh, okay. With a diet of bingo and ballads, Alex believes Mr. Gorzar is guilty of underestimating what today's more mature guests want from a holiday experience. Wiggle up, Diana, and then you can sit on the top. So, to provide inspiration for a more energetic entertainment program, she sent him out for some much-needed market research. I've sent Mr. Gorzar off to meet the over 60s rock climbers because not everyone just wants to sit around all day. They want lots of new adventures and experiences, and I need to prove that to him. Would you actually offer a, an activity like this to, to your guests it's when they come to your It's a very good question. Over 65, 70 people, they have either diabetic, high blood pressure. Mentioned lions have bingo. What would you prefer? Certainly not bingo. I've never played bingo in my life. I suppose my biggest worry is that he will say something really silly. So what, what you're running really sounds like more like an old people's home than a than Well, a it's a one step before old people's home, mm. which is beautiful. I mean, all of you look 1995. <laughs> Mention lines, guests go on coach tours of the area. What would you prefer? Oh, um, well, no, not, not to go out in the coach. They really need to get in touch with the present day. They just have no idea whatsoever. I think it's interesting. We have another angle of what people think. Sometimes it's opening a door which somebody would have no idea of what was behind. Um, our doors are open. Our doors are well, open. You need to find some more doors. Can the Mansion Lions team deliver service with a smile? You could get a regular income off these people, but you need to treat them well and make sure they come back. All four of us ordered coffee, and it's come like this in a teapot. The lights in the bathroom didn't work. We had a blocked shower drain. If you don't like the room, for God's sake, why do you take it? Alex Polizzi has been called to the 110-bedroom Mansion Lions Hotel in Eastbourne. After convincing owner Mr. Gulzar to drop his four-star ambitions, Alex now wants him and his team to raise their hotel's lowly internet review ranking. Oh, they haven't put the re re review on yet. We're still at the bottom. That's a shame. To help instill some pride back into the Mansion Lions, she's asked Mr. Gulzar to improve their much maligned customer service. Last time I was here, I really felt as if Mr. Gulzar and his team were living in Cloud Cuckoo Land. They insisted that everything was rosy in the garden, that their guests are always happy. Well, you know, I've read the internet reviews and it is not true. There are some very serious complaints that need to be tackled. And to check how far they've come, Alex has returned with some friends in tow. She's arranged for a delegation from the local Women's Institute to sample the Mansion Lions hospitality. As the hotel's target market, they'll provide a good test of whether the Mansion Lions can become a main attraction. So, Gilza, would you like to say a round of welcome as they come in the door? Yes. Yeah. I could go and say oh. hello to them. Yeah. So, as the ladies arrive for mid-morning tea, will it be brickbats or bouquets? I think it's always nice to greet my customers. I enjoy it. I like it. And I'm sure they, they would be pleased to have the owner welcome them. Hold my hand. Good morning. Welcome to the mansion. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very nice to see you. The ladies are settled in. If you take your order pads, then go one by one on the table. Take their orders. Yeah. Make sure you greet them, everybody, first. How are they? 
though some guests seem charmed. Tea, coffee. All the good-looking girls are getting chocolate. Oh, oh my, I think that is brilliant. Oh, my word. Yeah, the staff are being very attentive. So at this table, we're quite happy. Yes, yes. So, 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 so far, good, yes. so good. Others are left high and dry. These three ladies have not had their order taken, so someone needs to do that. Is it instant decaf or is it... Uh, it's instant. Uh, uh, so immediately we found a few flaws. So you wanted a cappuccino. It would have been nice. Which wasn't available, which really in this day and age, I mean, you can get them at every service station. Uh, I'll have tea, please. Do you have Darjeeling? Um, no herbal tea bag yet. No hot milk for coffee. No decaf. No cappuccino. You don't have any. All four of us ordered coffee, and it's come like this in a teapot. I asked for hot milk, but I had to wait ages for it. And by the time it came, the coffee was cold. I really do think that they think that if you're over 50 or 60, well, you know, what, what more do you want? It's to your coffee, isn't it? You know, it's not enough anymore. All the good-looking girls are getting a chocolate. Only the good-looking ones. Actually, you could get a regular income off these people, but you need to treat them well and make sure they come back. I can see there are some good-looking ones there. It's the first time I've been here, and it'll definitely be the last. Mr. Gulzar's chocolate might have been a sweet touch, but the hotel's service has left Alex with a sour taste. So how did you think that went with the Women's Institute ladies? What I was most impressed, they were all very cheerfully dressed and all full of smiles, and I think it was nice. No, it's um, how the hotel performed that I'm really asking. I think with a very short notice, uh, we, we seem to have attended, giving them whatever best service we could. I think they are used to having a, a, a little bit more selection and, a, and more efficient service than they got with you today. And so I don't think I'm asking for the Earth, the Moon and the Stars. I'm just asking for you to take it seriously. I hope you'll approve of the next thing that I've decided to do, which is take the people who wrote the worst things on your trip advisor and invite them to come and stay again on us. And if they're happy with their stay, maybe they can rectify their trip advisor. How come you come up with such good ideas? Oh, darling, it's brilliant. So I just born this way. What can I do? Alex now wants to turn her attention to improving the hotel's entertainment offering. Despite the market research with the over 60s rock climbers, the WI's experience suggests the hotel is still guilty of underestimating its older clientele. I want to see whether my instincts about what people are keen to do and not do, or your instincts, are the more correct. So I'd like to see you doing something active. Just think a little bit out of your usual box. We, I think have, it's that. We have 14 llamas. We can go for llama trekking. <laughs> llama trekking. I love that idea. Yeah. I've I mean, got 23 alpacas but and fun, they're giving but babies. But anything fun, darling. I think people like, you know, they just, people still like having a good time. With llama trekking getting the thumbs up, Mr Gulzar sets his sights on rounding up some guests. Mansion Lion Hotel Events invites guests to a complimentary, unique experience of llama trekking. Do you like llamas? Well, I don't know, but I have no dealings with them. Would you like to go for a llama trekking? I beg your pardon. I'm organizing a llama trekking on my farm. Do you think you would like to join and...? No, I, I don't know. They, they spit and they, they make um, funny noises, don't they? Most of our visitors love walking, and walking with llamas will give them a good, fresh outlook, and I'm sure they'll enjoy it. After a shaky start, the hardy volunteers set off to Mr Gulzar's farm. One of the problems is that they're offering what every other hotel in Eastbourne is offering as entertainment for their clients, which is pretty much bingo and crooners. That's llama number one. I hope Mr. Gulzar finds out from running this exercise that people do really like um, different experiences. Surely it'd be nice to ring the changes and stand out from the crowd. 
But will walking with llamas prove a step too far? Don't get steady, don't fall, push. <laughs> he might spit at me. <laughs> good boy, good boy, good boy. It's an experience you wouldn't normally get, would you? These are like men. They need to be told where to go. And then they go. Gonna have a cup of tea? You, you tell them to go away. We're gonna have a cup of tea, aren't we? How did you like I walking. thought it was fantastic. Yeah. It's very good. enjoyable, yeah. Something quite different than uh, out in the open air. Would you like to do llama trekking or would you like bingo? Llama trekking. Don't like bingo. Gone <laughs> very well. <laughs> Alex was right. With Mr. Gulzar's outlook transformed, Alex has done the same with the Mansion Lion's Sun Lounge. Her design team have taken the once dreary, soulless room and turned it into a bright and cheery space. Gone are the old-fashioned furniture and fittings, replaced with a vibrant and modern colour palette. Just perfect for taking in the views with afternoon tea. The Mansion Lions is now ready to welcome back its harshest critics. The guests who left a very public complaint on an online review website. For Mr. Gulzar and the Mansion Lions, it's a second chance to make a good impression. I've stayed in probably 50 to 100 hotels. Top one for worseness. We did not find the service that we wanted to have. It was literally, you know, you almost handed over your, your credit card, paid, and that was about you left to your own devices. It was literally like that. Alex wants the hotel to provide a faultless dinner, bed and breakfast before serving the disgruntled guests and the dissatisfied ladies from the Women's Institute afternoon tea in the newly renovated lounge. I've invited the bad reviewers back in the hope that we've managed to improve the hotel enough that we can get them to revise their past bad opinions. The reviewers that are coming back today, we've made sure they've got particularly nice rooms. This is a lovely sea view room. I'm absolutely certain that it would be very difficult to find anything wrong. I have many, many worries about the return visit to Mansion Lions. Mainly that Mr. Gulzar is insincere, um, doesn't make enough effort, that they don't take this seriously enough. Do, do I look nice? Wonderful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mansion Lions Hotel. I'm grateful and pleased that you have all come. It will help us to understand what your problems were. But you need to treat every guest individually, not just assume that they're going to be coming along with lots of wants and requirements. Service, not very good at all. Cold meals, which is not pleasant when you're looking for a hot meal at night. The lights in the bathroom didn't work. We had a blocked shower drain with hair. We also requested a bath, got given a key to someone else's room. If you don't like the room, for God's sake, why do you take it? We, we changed four times. Leave. That's what happened. The next room we went to, the lights didn't work, the drain was blocked. I mean, how can we expect to enjoy the rest of our holiday? This is unusual, and we're really it's sorry that that unusual. happened. You know, we've learned from comments like yours, I can the assure comments, you. Comments do come This handy. is important, it's not That's right. right. We're in the business of making people happy. I'm sure you'll be very satisfied. If they get this right, it could really make a difference to their ratings. If they get it wrong, they'll be stuck at the bottom forever. Can the Mansion Lions win back its bad reviewers? So you need to come out of your room now? Um, just said, well, what time do we need to be out? Said, now. I'm very, very annoyed. As a hotelier, you have to stay calm. Alex Polizzi is at the Mansion Lions, helping its flamboyant owner, Mr. Gulzar, become Eastbourne's premier three-star hotel. After one internet review site listed it as the worst in town, the hotel inspector has asked the Mansion Lions management team to improve customer service in the hope of moving up the rankings. And to check on their progress, Alex has invited some of the hotel's harshest critics back to stay the night to sample afternoon tea alongside a delegation from the local Women's Institute. But as Alex arrives for her final visit... This is the day that all is revealed and she tells us how wonderful we are and how well we've improved. 
she's welcomed with some bad news. I'm looking at the latest internet review um, for the Mountain Lions Hotel, and it, it's still 41 out of 41 hotels in Eastbourne, which is very disappointing. The first thing I've got to do is go and get some answers. Have you said hello to my lion? Hello. Hi, hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Alex is a smiling today. What I want is happy, smiley guests. I want, I want to see some evidence of that, which I haven't yet... You know, that's what my goal has been the whole time, to talk to people who are here, who I'm not putting words into their mouth, who say to me, yes, we had a lovely time here. Now, that seems in short supply. We've got some guests who gave you bad reviews staying here, and this is my last hope that they're going to give you a shining bill of um, approval. I'm sure they're going to give us a good report, Alex. OK. Please be happy. It's not the start Alex was hoping for, but at least her newly renovated sun lounge does look ready to impress. So what do you think of it in here? Yes, I think very nice. Um, definitely people would like it. It's open, it's fresh, um, it's good. With the room set for action, Alex wants to make sure Mr Gulzar is also suitably prepared. You have got to stop being so facetious because you're a charming man, but sometimes it can be taken the wrong way. Sorry, can you say it again, <laughs> that charming side? Please keep that in mind. Yes. With the sun lounge sparkling, Mr Gulzar briefed and preparations in full swing, the hotel's ready to wow its guests with afternoon cream tea. Not nervous at all because we're well prepared for it. But just before the WI members are due to arrive, there's a problem with one of the returning guest reviewers. Young lady, let's clean in our room. This is so you need to come out of your room now. I said, well, what time do we need to be out? Said, now. Well, um, I mean, the only thing that I can say is about that probably it's just checkout time. With one of the most important events in the Mansion Lions history about to begin, tensions are clearly running high. I'm very, very annoyed. Ten past one, they're supposed to leave. No, I've said Put that the baggage here. Yeah. I'm standing Sweetheart, here. Sweetheart, I've said that to them. I've just said to them, they just said, we're very annoyed because we've been asked to leave the room. And I said, well, it's just checkout time. We've got people coming in. I've made that clear to them. They're guests. As a hotelier, you have to stay calm. With so much at stake, Alex is keen for the management team to keep its eye on the ball. Our job is to make every situation better. Our job is to try and make sure that people walk out of this door saying nice things about this hotel. That is the job of a manager. That is the job of a general manager. That is the well, job of an well, owner. With the Women's Institute members arriving for cream tea. Yeah, lovely, two o'clock. <laughs> Party's about to start. Yippee. Can the Mansion Lions team pull out all the stops and deliver a level of customer service that drags them off the bottom of the internet review site? Now let's see if they do better on the coffee varieties, <laughs> shall we? As the guests enjoy Alex's new sun lounge, Mr Singh takes charge of ensuring the guests are offered a more up-to-date drinks menu. We made sure we've got enough Darjeeling, Earl Grey, English tea, hot milk, cold milk, creams, scones, fruit teas. While Mr. Gulzar turns on the charm. There is some more cakes for you. Thank you very much. I hope your stay has been nice and you've enjoyed this time. It's been very nice, thank you. Very good. This is streets ahead, it's fabulous. It's, it's delightful, it's very really nice and a great improvement on what it was before. Are you happy? Yes, we are very happy. Good. You can see they made a really good effort there, it's really good. Even the disgruntled guests are smiling. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. En enjoying this? It's nice. Actually, quite the presentation. Has it cheered you up a bit? A bit. Good. <laughs> it always does. I really wanted to see that they're trying to make the effort to improve things. Yeah. Obviously, they've got a way to go. Yeah, yeah no, this has changed around for a little bit for me. For if I come down with my family, the day trip sort of thing, my father and everyone would come in here, have a cup of tea. I can't believe it. This has gone quite well. I thought it was doomed to failure, but actually, 
Everyone I've talked to has really appreciated the effort they've made, the change in the room. So we may yet salvage something from this train wreck. With cream tea over, the returning guests prepare their reviews. Have the Mansion Lions team done enough to convince them to change their minds? Look, those ladies are writing their reviews. You see, not all older people are incapable of using a computer, Mr. Goldsar. We'll wait and see what they've written. Fingers crossed. Indeed. With the reviews posted, Alex delivers the verdict. We asked everyone to write reviews, and you'll be glad to hear that so far you've got two averages and four very goods. A great welcome, which was nice. There were good improvement on the rooms, which is again a, a posi very positive comment, and it will be nice to see that up on the site. One of the Women's Institute women wrote a 100% upgrade on my coffee morning here three weeks ago. So that ought to considerably improve your rating. Well, there was a lovely atmosphere in here. Felt good, don't you think? Yes, I'm, I'm pleased they all enjoyed and it was very good. Basically, you mustn't stop here. I would like to see you amongst the top hotels rated in Eastbourne. You know, I passionately want that for you. I think we know the journey has started now and it will take a little while to get into the top ten, but we'll, we'll do that. That's our aim, that's the, our wish to achieve. Alex departs the Mansion Lions with cautious optimism. Well, they certainly haven't turned the corner yet. All I can hope, ultimately, is that they've taken the first steps along a path that they really mean to continue on. She's paid attention to us, and I think for that we are thankful to her. We, we, we appreciate it. And we'll take some of Alex's advice, and uh, all of Alex's advice, and we'll improve on that, yes. I think she's happy, and I'm happy.